Alright guys, what's up? It's Witness, and today we're back with another episode of our Minecraft Mod Showcase. Uh, today we're going to be showcasing the Minecraft Compressed Box Mod. If you guys remember, I did showcase this mod previously. Um, this is just an updated showcase because it has been requested, and uh, the mod has definitely changed. I'll give it that since the last time. Definitely, probably for the better, I'd say too. So, uh, because of the intense variety of... I guess not intense, but the variety of items and things craftable in this uh, mod. This episode is actually going to be split into segments, so if you do notice some cuts, just uh, know it is not technical problems. It is me just cutting, so you guys don't have to watch me get all the items ready for the next segment. So, let's cut to the first segment, coal. Hey guys, I'm back, and we are ready for the coal segment. So as you can see, I have some coal and some charcoal. This mod works with both. And it actually takes nice advantage of both of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get to your crafting bench and put the most basic of the blocks, which is 9 coal or 9 charcoal blocks in the crafting bench, and you're going to get coal or charcoal blocks. Now, there's two paths you can go. One leads to diamond, one leads to tools. So let's start with diamond, because everyone likes diamond better than tools. So... The way you're going to make diamond is you're going to take either 9 coal blocks or 9 charcoal blocks. So let's make those. And it does not matter whether you use coal or charcoal. They both work um, for this way. You cannot use both of them together. Like You can't have half of them coal and half of them charcoal. But I know that you can do this. So once you have your 9 coal or charcoal blocks, you're going to want to place them all through the crafting table. And you're going to get a dense coal block. Now, there's not really much you can do with a dense coal block. Um, except, we can get to another part of it later. But, as of now, there's nothing you can really craft with a dense coal block. So what are we going to do? We're going to throw it in the furnace. If you just throw a dense coal block in the furnace. You get... the dense weapon grade coal block. Now once again, this is like the dense coal block, there's not much you can do. Um, we'll get to the only use of it later, except you can smelt it. So let's just toss that in the furnace again. And we have diamond. So if you guys saw that, that little process right there is going to get you diamond. So let's just run through that real quick again. You start with a coal block or a charcoal block. You turn that into a compressed coal, into a dense coal block, I'm sorry. And uh, you do that using nine coal or charcoal blocks. Then you turn, you smelt the compressed charcoal block into weapon grade charcoal. And you smelt that into diamond. And you have diamonds for everybody. Well, only one, but you guys got the point. So that is the first path by which you can use coal items. The second path is using, I guess, basic smelting, but it's also going to use much less minerals slash resources, and it's going to be much more efficient, I guess, uh, just a kind of quicker way to use up all your coal. So here we go with that. Um, also, sorry about the rain. Minecraft is being poopy, and it's raining. But anyway... Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your coal block or your charcoal block, whichever one you want, and toss it in the furnace. Now, to show you, they do the same thing. I'm putting them both in. doesn't really matter, though. And what you're going to get is your weapon-grade coal block. Weapon-grade coal block. They're both the same. They stack. Same deal. Now these we will use later, and um, I'll get to that in a little bit, so just remember that, okay? On to redstone. Alrighty guys, what's up? We are on the redstone segment now, and as you can see, I have redstone dust. There is no other way to get redstone, like there is charcoal, or there's no alternative to it, so that's about that. So, the first thing we're going to do is, like the last one, we're going to go and make a redstone block. Now, with the redstone block, there are two paths you can take. One will lead to tools, which we will get to in the next segment. And one will lead to, you guessed it, diamond. So, we're going to go ahead and do the diamond one first. And just the thing you're going to want to do is make nine blocks. 
like we did last time. And here you go. Nine blocks. And you're going to put them in the crafting bench like so. Get your dense redstone block. And what are we going to do? We're going to put it in the furnace. You guessed it. Once you put it in the furnace, you're going to get yourself a dense weapon grade redstone block. And what are we going to do now? You guessed it again. You're on a winning spree here. Put it in the furnace. Now the results of this may be surprising and they're going to probably startle you. But it's a lot of redstone, so, you, you know, it's definitely taking a lot. And you get three diamonds. So that's pretty cool, right? Three diamonds, that's a lot, but also redstone's a lot harder to come by. So that's pretty sweet. Now the other path you can take is, if you have your redstone block right here, toss it in the furnace. And you have your weapon grade redstone. Now your weapon grade redstone can be used for tools just like your weapon grade coal. And so we're going to move on to the tool segment right now. Alrighty guys, I am back and welcome to the tool segment of our Minecraft Compressed Blocks V3 Showcase. So in this segment I'm going to be showing you the craftable tools using weapon grade coal blocks. Whoops, there we go. Weapon grade coal blocks and dense weapon grade coal blocks. Now, weapon grade coal block is going to be less efficient than dense weapon grade coal block, and redstone is going to be more efficient than coal. So in the order of efficiency, if you want to go that way, it's going to be from least to greatest weapon grade coal, to weapon grade redstone, to dense weapon grade coal, to dense weapon grade redstone. Now, I've tried a tool with this, dense weapon grade redstone, and it is just absolutely insane. So let's get started and make some tools. With our sticks, we're going to take, make a shovel make an axe or a pickaxe now make an axe and make a sword and make a hoe so as you can see we have all of the basic tools with this we're gonna make a pick we're gonna make a hoe axe shovel and sword Let's move this out of the way with this we're going to make a pick, whoops, a shovel, a hoe, a axe, and a sword. And with this last one, we're going to make a pick, a shovel, an axe, a hoe. And a sword. So now we have the full tool sets that are available in this mod. Um, so in order of efficiency, obviously. So let's test out the pickaxes first. So let's put this here, this here, this here. And so we are going in order of efficiency. This being the weakest, this being the strongest. So let's just do a little test here. And uh, here we go. This is test number one of the coal pick. There you go. Test number two of the redstone pick. Test number three of the dense weapon grade coal pick. Test number four of the dense weapon grade redstone pick. So as you can see, it got progressively faster. Um, one sec, sorry, I was pulling up the statistics for these. So this one right here, the coal pick, uh, has 500 uses, and the strength is between stone and iron. So it's not as good as iron, but uh, it's pretty cheap to make, so it's not bad. Uh, here, right here, the redstone items has 500 uses, but the strength is between diamond and gold. So it's even stronger than diamond, and uh, gold is pretty insane, so that's pretty sweet. Now, this item right here, the dense coal items, has 1,500 uses, which is about the same as a diamond pick, but the strength is twice diamond. So that's pretty cool. And this one right here has 3,000 uses, which is absolutely insane, and the strength is twice of this. So the strength of this is four times that of diamond pickaxes, or diamond tools. So that's pretty insane. Um, these tools are, I mean, they're not OP, but uh, if you were to acquire these tools, you would be set. So that's that. Now for the uses, you're also maybe wondering if, like, I know you, you guys were thinking, well, 
you can smelt weapon grade coal, you can smelt weapon grade redstone, as well as one second let me stupid pig. Oh, let's see. Let's one shot him with our Where's our weapon grade redstone sword? There it is. Got him. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just make um this is what I was talking about earlier. The um the coal and redstone furnace smelting capabilities. Uh redstone blocks in here are capable of smelting five hundred items. Coal block is five hundred. Weapon grade coal is one thousand five hundred and weapon grade redstone is three thousand five hundred or three thousand, sorry. Excuse me. So using these in the furnace is pretty sweet, although I would not completely recommend it because you kind of have to sit there and wait. It's better just to use eight pieces of coal. Um, that's why I don't even use lava buckets that often, but it's still pretty cool. It allows you to smelt, and, uh, my favorite part of this mod by far is the tools, but we're going to get on to the review segment, uh, and the overall final segment in just a second, so I will see you guys there. Alrighty, guys, what's up? I'm back with the final segment of our mod showcase, and that is the review segment. Um, you guys can just enjoy a nice view of the sun rising in the morning, and a nice little ocean with some mountains down there and stuff while I uh, go over what I think about this mod. So after doing all this reviewing, um, I can definitely say 100% that this mod is probably 10,000 times better than the previous version. All these improvements um, I saw in the post, there are many bug fixes, things like that. All of that stuff is just way better. It just definitely improves the mod and it's definitely been a, uh, a great time testing this out. Now as for the tools, I feel like once you get these tools, you're unstoppable slash overpowered. So maybe I would tone down the dense redstone items a little bit, maybe three times as much as diamond tools, not four times, just because it seems a little bit overpowered. But that's just my opinion. Again, um, I am a reviewer. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about was the um, the way the compressed block work. I really like the idea of having two different paths and the idea of having diamond because let's say you do need diamond and you can't find any, you're desperately lost, but you have tons of redstone and coal from all your mining trips, well, this is going to kind of make it pay off. This is going to let you get a kind of a fair fair exchange, I guess you could say, for um, for your coal and your redstone just to make, make diamond because it does take a lot of uh, redstone slash coal to make one diamond. So that's pretty, um, I think that's pretty worth it in the end. And it's pretty fair, not too cheap, not too easy, not just like put a piece of redstone in the furnace and you have diamond. That's pretty cool. So uh, overall, I would say this was a great mod. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I would say download it, which is going to be higher than 10. Um, uh, so yeah, that's what I think. Uh, you guys are all entitled to your own opinions, of course, and if you like this video, please leave a like and leave a comment, and also support the mod creator. Uh, I will have a link to the mod in the description, and that's about all we have for today. If you have any other mods, just send me a message or leave a uh, comment, and I will do a review as soon as I can. Thank you guys, and peace.